Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. Today we are back with yet another menu book. This is menu book number 14 and we are going in search of three Mustangs. Some of my favourite cars. Can't wait to get into this one. So we need to collect all three models and head back to the cafe. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be using for this particular race. So uh, let's just head over into the world circuits. This is likely to be America. And it is. So we've got three circuits, Blue Moon Bay Speedway, the WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, and Willow Springs International Raceway. We'll start off with the Blue Moon Bay Speedway because that looks like a fairly straightforward track we need to be third place or higher so pretty much same as usual we need an american car oh the obvious choice is the shelby but i couldn't resist the sierra cosworth we're up against firebirds and things so oh, do you know what it might be the absolute wrong thing to do but I think I might go with the Sierra RS500 Cosworth. I love this car. I drove it back in the 80s. In fact, I was lucky enough to drive the original Sierra Cosworth and the Sapphire Cosworth as well as the RS500. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Probably a mistake. Let's give this a go. We're going to need to get some... Uh, medium racing tyres I think on this car, let's put them on, that's going to give us a little bit of stickiness around some of these corners which we may well need because we are going to have to wring the neck out of this Sierra I think considering the cars that we are up against, although they're big American muscle cars so they don't always go around corners easily so let's see how this goes. So this is the American FR Challenge 550. Third place or higher, and we've got three laps to do this in. And I tell you now, first place looks an enormous distance away. Um, immediately, I think we might have made a mistake here. Um, I don't care because I love this car. Just looking at the bonnet with those vents, you just know that you're driving something special. I'm giving my age away a little bit, but I don't care. Should be diamond white rather than this creamy colour though, that's the only thing. But uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can catch some of these cars coming down into this corner. I'm going to keep the accelerator buried. We're going to go on the outside of the Firebird. I'm probably going to go on the outside of most of these cars as we've done on a few of the oval circuits I just need to get it slowed down to come past the Shelby love that car getting on the back of this Mustang Mach 1 we can go on the inside of that one and then we've got a new Mustang which we're chasing down in front of us so we're up to 7th making some progress I think we're really going to have to go for it. So we're going to come up on the inside of this Mustang GT. Haven't quite got the legs to get him down this straight. So we'll just get in the slipstream, see if we can use that to stay with this car. He's clearly a bit quicker than we are. Hopefully he's going to pull us along to catch up with the other cars in front. Just dropped out of the slipstream ever so slightly for that corner. Back in the slipstream. Oh, two into one. That's nice. Yes. And we've got some serious speed catching up with these four cars that are in a group. Can we do three on this corner? Yes. And we're lined up nicely for the slipstream on the third. That could not, could not have been any better. So as we go into the final lap, we've got first place. Now all we've got to do is keep it together. So just losing some speed for this corner. We've got 0.8 of a second to the cars behind. As we come out of the corner, that is building. Quick look behind. That beautiful whale tail sticking out the back of this fabulous car. Up to two seconds and still climbing. 
we're going to take it a little bit carefully through this one we don't want to spin it we don't want to have an issue this car is moving around a little bit but uh, that was a nice black corner there car really nicely planted this one just coming off the accelerator a little bit just firing it through back on the accelerator to run to the line and first time out first win in this amazing Sierra RS Cosworth 500 that has got to be worth watching such an iconic car there's not many cars that can pull off a wow tail spoiler like that I'll tell you what in the 80s when you pulled up behind one of those you knew what you had in front of you there we go first place clean race bonus 15,000 credits that will do nicely happy 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 and we get a beautiful mustang boss a 1969 model really nice car really really nice car glad to have that one in the garage now i do like these mustangs they can be a bit of a handful to drive sometimes but they are so i am going to indulge myself I am going to sit and watch this replay of this glorious Cosworth hacking it around this track with his bank curves. You watch this lean into these curves. I bet that car is going to be right over on the springs. If they've animated it correctly, it will be. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful animation. What a fantastic job the developers have done on this car I'm not so sure about the number plate on it I think we may well end up with a custom livery on this car and do something with that number plate oh come on let's get back look at this look at this through this corner oh big slide on a wobble as we overtook the Mustang there or was it the Mustang we overtook I am getting so excited I don't even know what I overtook that's the Mustang a nice and never sober take on that one. Loving this little video. Oh, was that a little flash of headlights as we came by there? That's a bit audacious. Down the straight, let's see it lean into this bank curve again. I didn't really get to see that one. What are we doing now? Look at that lean over. Amazing the days when they really know how to build cars this was a proper driver's car this one proper driver's car plenty of power lots of grip amazing to drive sounded amazing you're probably getting the uh, impression i like this one flashing just lights all the way around here and a slingshot around those three was just beautiful. I love that move. And to come straight into the slipstream for the first place runner was just glorious. Set me up beautifully for the overtake. As we come down the straight into this corner, the overtake done before the corner, loads of time to get the car settled. You just see the nose dialed on the braking, just squirming around exactly how it used to be bringing back so many memories so many memories wow just loving this video unfortunately it's going to be over all too soon really leaning over should be able to get such a nice thumbnail for the video from this uh, this little replay so many different angles to choose from so is this the last corner or I've lost where we are I'm enjoying this so much Pipe is really chasing me down really chasing there we go loved every moment of that really enjoyed that no end anyway i guess we'd better get back to the job in hand 
So we've acquired that Mustang. We're now going to head over to we'll, um, Meditech. Let's do that one where we are after another Mustang. And we're definitely not going to do this one in the Cosworth. That's going to be a step too far. We will go for the Shelby GT 350R and give ourselves a decent shot at doing this one. So we're going to buy the medium racing tyres. That's going to give us some extra grip. Pop those on the car. And then we will launch into this one. So this is an FR American Challenge 550 at the WeatherTech Raceway. This is the one with the infamous cork screw. The Mustang could well be a bit of a handful around here, so I wouldn't be surprised if this takes one or two runs to get the measure of the car around this iconic circuit. Getting it turned in for the first corner, and immediately the car just gone there. What did I say? It was going to take me a while just to get the measure of the car, and it's bitten me already. It's just in the first corner. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Wow. So modern against classic, probably not fair, but hey, we just want to get through these menu books. The game's allowing us to use this car, so we're just going to do it. Often cars are flat through here, but we've got uh, two cars parked on the inside of the corner. Plus, I'm not quite sure how grippy this Mustang is going to be through there. They, the Mustangs tend to be pretty uh, that, that's the one that's flat, not the one before, that one is, is flat. And um, they tend to be a little bit tail happy sometimes, so breaking in a straight line over the top into this wonderful quartz screw with the undulations. Oh, just getting into the back of the Mach 1 there. So try and get the overtake done around the outside, giving him room if he's still there, haven't got the radar on. Switch over to that now. Oh, let's get this corner negotiated before we start messing around with the MFS, so uh, we've got that done, I overshot that corner while we're messing around, we're not concentrating on driving right now, let's get our head back in the game, so as we come up to the start finish line to start our second and final lap, in first place a nice comfortable five second lead, look at the braking zone, try not to spin it this time, round we go, nicely done, Turned in for this corner again, over the curves. Underneath the Cooper Tires Bridge, looking for a turning point, second gear for this corner. Fast run down into this tight left hand. We're looking for the breaking point just underneath this bridge. Hit the shadow and almost count one before you go. Carry a lot of speed through there in third gear. Oh, got a big slide on the exit, tried to get the power down too quickly. This is the one that is normally really quick, no confidence to be quite honest, following that last slide. So second gear was way too low, but as we come up over the top here, we're going to bury the brake pedal in a straight line, get it uh, down into first gear, probably could have got away with second gear through there, and drift out to the right side and turn it in. That was a bit too acute, so that's compromised that particular corner. Get it broke, breaking down into third, turn in, nicely done. Watching for the breaking point where we've got the skip marks. Oh, I went a little bit deep there, down into second to get it turned in. And then we get a run to the line with a massive 17, nearly 18 second lead. Wow, really enjoyed that run. A couple of little switches that pulled us out, but again, that is driving a car hard, new car, new track. So not too unhappy about that one. It's getting very late as well. So getting a little bit, uh, little bit tired today. It's been a long, 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 long day. So we just, just need to keep, the, uh, keep the, the concentration levels up a little bit. Happy with that one. So we will come out of there got the uh, Mac 1 and we go to Willow Springs again we want third place or higher no surprise there I'm going to stick with the Shelby GT350 
and hopefully that will enable us to get through this one in one go so we've got two laps to do starting in 10th and we need to keep on the black stuff if we get into the gravel it is going to bite us and that will just careful on these first two cars so up into eight already or oh, just getting it slowed down for this Camaro you really don't want to be throwing it off into the gravel at this point so that overtake is done quite nicely up to seventh place get this Mustang boss and the Dodge as well into the Vargo that's uh, that's nice two and one getting it nicely turned in slow down and turned in for that corner just backed out of that one thought that was been a little bit too optimistic still minded that this mustang could go around at any time if we're not careful and that's exactly what we do lack of concentration that's going to drop us down a couple of places well we didn't really have the first of those two cars beat and um, we did have the mustang beaten but oh where do we go on this one oh just managed to get that slowed down so we didn't rear end the Mustang boss. So we're just going to follow him through this corner. That was quite nicely done. Can we get him on the inside of this corner? Try not to throw it off on the exit. This does tighten this corner. Oh, just kept that on. Need to stay left for the Mustang. Oh, that was a bit hard. Tight enough job that was. So we got first and second place together. They're both having their own battle. So let's let these two run through this corner. Or oh, that opens up opportunity to run through both of them through that corner. Now we are not chasing cars. Is where I need to be careful and not throw this off the track. We're already one and a half seconds ahead. We don't need to push too hard. But unfortunately the racer in me is going to make me push and there we go straight off over the top crunch down on the track that's really not going to do my car any good the most awful of re-entries not very graceful at all joining the track we are still out in first place dirty tires just need to be very very careful through here just get it turned in. This is quick down through here, so this should be flat. Getting some speed. We've got 3.84 second ahead. Getting it slowed down and turned in for this corner. A little bit squirmy under the braking. This one tightens, remember. Just be careful. Careful. Whoa. This Mustang is really moving around underneath me. And, yeah, I thought so. Just put it onto the dirty stuff, keep it out of the pits, back on the track. Dirty tyres now, so we just need to be a bit careful that we run to the line. So, not the most graceful of laps, but we did put in a first place on the first run, which is good enough. 10,000 credits, and we win the new Mustang. 2015 Mustang, it's a lovely car that one. I actually quite like that colour. Hopefully that's my colour. Yes. Okay, so that's all three Mustangs acquired. I'm not going to worry about the replay on this one. It is getting late. So I'm really pleased that that is done. So we're going to go to the cafe. And we'll see Luca see what he's got in store for us so there we go our mustangs favorite of them all the one on the left every day of the week so all three we're gonna get some stories about these cars so we've unlocked the daytona international speedway which is nice it's another track unlocked menu book number 14 done i love that 1960s grill front end beautiful absolutely beautiful very popular car back in the day and even the new mustang very popular see a few of them over here in the uk but they are big old engines and thirsty so it's uh, 
surprised when you see them out on the road that there are a few around. Don't quite have the charisma of the 1960s as far as I'm concerned, but still really nice. So, next we are going to be off for menu book number 15 and tomorrow. I'm going to keep that for the next video. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell button for notification of when I release that video. Thank you very much for following me along and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.